What's up guys, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to create factual and up-to-date articles using Claude 2. In terms of training data, it's widely known that ChatGPT has been trained up to September of 2021. Now, I believe Claude has been trained a little bit more recently because if I asked it when was the latest iPhone to be released, it tells me that the latest iPhone was released in September of 2022. So this leads me to believe that it has a little bit more up-to-date information, but we're still not able to write information from 2023 or more live and up-to-date information. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how to insert live and up-to-date information into Claude and have Claude use that information to write an engaging blog post. Let's go ahead and get started. So for example, let's say I wanted to write an article about why you should invest in Ripple, which is a cryptocurrency in 2023. And I wanted to include live and up-to-date information and facts and prices. As you can see here for this draft blog post, we are able to get some content here, but it's very general and more um, surface level. It kind of talks about the um, benefits of Ripple and some of the um, recent news of Ripple, but we're not really getting specific prices and specific predictions of Ripple, especially um, catered for 2023 and beyond. So if you would like to include more up-to-date information, what you want to do is head over to Google and you want to search up um, the information which you're looking for. So for example, we want to write a blog post that includes more 2023 information about Ripple. So I've searched up a blog post about XRP, which is Ripple's price prediction from 2023 to 2030. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to copy all of this information and um, we can be very generous because again, we have 100,000 tokens which is 75,000 words that we can play around with and that um, Claude will be able to understand. So we're gonna copy all of this content here and you can break this up. You can copy a little bit of content from one blog post and then copy some other content from another blog post, whatever it may be. And then you can put that all together and have Claude take that information and create an engaging and informative blog post around that topic. So let's go ahead and stop here. So we're gonna copy all of this information. I'm gonna paste it into Claude. So it's pasted in that text. So now let's search up Ripple News 2023. So this article talks about Ripple winning their SEC case, which was pretty historic. So let's go ahead and copy all of this information again. So again, I'm just going ahead and copying different articles. This is about the same topic, but we're just trying to get more information, um, a more updated information that we can use within our article. So now we've searched up what is Ripple and how does it work? Again, we're trying to gather as much information as we can so the AI can just take that information and put it into the right places, interpret that information and write a coherent blog post. So now that we've gathered all of our live and more up-to-date information, we can then go ahead and prompt the AI to write the full article. First, we'll be generating an outline and for the prompt, we'll be telling the AI to use this information provided and your own knowledge on the topic, why should you invest in Ripple in 2023, write an in-depth, comprehensive and detailed blog post outline and always write in Markdown. I always recommend generating an outline first because this just seems to give us better outputs for the overall blog post. So here's the outline. Why should you invest in Ripple? Introduction, surge in demand, key partnerships, current valuations look attractive. And then we have XRP trading in 2022. Um, crypto going mainstream, XRP remains uniquely positioned and a conclusion. So I've asked Claude to rewrite the content, but make sure to use the information from the text files in which we uploaded because I felt as though it really didn't use that information in the previous outline and it was able to rewrite it and it did kind of show us exactly where they got that information from. So we see for some of these subheadings, it got it from the specific text in which we uploaded um, at the top here. So it is incorporating that content. And as you can see here, it is writing about more updated information about major uh, firms like Tesla and PayPal, um, adding crypto support and uh, just talking about more up-to-date um, information when it comes to this topic. So it definitely works. Um, you just have to upload that content and make sure to tell the AI to use that information while it's writing um, your outlines. The prompt that I'm using to write the full article is to now tell the AI to use the outline above, the text uploaded, and your own knowledge on the topic. Write the full in-depth blog post, always include lists, tables, and facts. Do not plagiarize and always write in your own style. Write to reduce AI detection be as detailed as possible and always write in markdown. So I've just included the right to reduce AI detection to see if that will make a difference in AI detection scores because sometimes you can get a high AI detection score and sometimes you get a low AI detection score with Claude. So I wanna see if that makes a little bit of a difference. And also, as I showed you guys in my previous videos, if you wanted to get more content out of the AI, you can tell it to write the first section um, by itself and then you will tell it when to write the second section so essentially it will break up its writing it will write the first introduction and then you'll get a lot more content and then once it's finished that you can then go ahead and ask it to write the second section 
that allows you to get a little bit more content because the AI will take its time and be very detailed in that specific section. And when you put it all together, you get a much longer article. But overall, the content looks pretty good. Why should you invest in Ripple in 2023? Introduction to Ripple and XRP. Okay. Surging demand for fast, low cost cross border transactions. Key partnership. Favorable regulatory outlook based on recent developments. Current price presents buying opportunity. Crypto adoption going mainstream. XRP's utility for cross border payments and a conclusion. So overall, this article does have more up to date information. It's able to understand the current um, status of the SEC rulings. It also lists some of the most notable partners for XRP. And then it kind of talks about more up to date information compared to the previous article. And I think compared to if you were to just tell the AI to write about why you should invest in Ripple in 2023. So if you needed to write more live and up to date information, you can gather that information that you're trying to write about, paste it into um, Claude and tell it to use that information to first generate an outline and then use that outline to generate the full article. Let's go ahead and do a quick scan on originality.ai. So we'll be detecting for AI and plagiarism and readability. In terms of AI detection, it is 43% original and 57% AI. It's not bad by any means. 43% is pretty good, especially compared to ChatGPT. For plagiarism, it is only 3% plagiarized, so that's pretty good. It um, wrote all of its content originally. And for readability, it is 407 which is also pretty good. So if you're really worried about um, AI detection, then you can probably prompt it again to tell the AI to write in a way that reduces AI detection. But I wouldn't really worry too much about AI detection scores because it's very arbitrary and there's a lot of AI rating content that's ranking on Google. You just want to make sure that you're writing high quality um, content that satisfies the search intent. Overall, I think Claude did a pretty decent job at writing an article that's more up to date. Um, it was able to take the information that we fed it and write an article, but I would like it to be a little bit more in depth, um, talk a little bit more about the blog post topic and add some more context for the users, especially for the specific topic. But overall, this is not a bad workflow to follow if you need to write more up to date and live information. And also Claude is completely free to use. So that is a big plus for a lot of users. You don't have to pay for the monthly plan or you don't need to use the API to write the content. You can use it for completely free. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.